for Cobb Douglas production function we can find out the elasticity of scale just like for any other production function so let us recall the formula of elasticity of scale if we consider that this is a production function in its functional form the elasticity of scale can be found by taking the ratio of the proportional change in the output due to the proportional change in the inputs and in other uh, way the formula can be this that is the marginal product multiplied with the factor of production divided by that output now this can be repeated for all the factors of production here this is the second input for that we have mp2 v2 and again q will remain the same so now we are going to focus on the Cobb Douglas production function in its standard form we remember its standard form it is this and here what we are missing is the mp1 and mp2 otherwise v1 v2 q and q they are available so we need mp1 and mp2 so we should be finding out mp1 and mp2 marginal products they are missing and we want to find out with respect to v1 and v2 which are the two factors of production so uh, for mp1 we are using v1 as the variable with respect to which we will differentiate and v2 again for uh, the other mp that is mp2 so the production function getting differentiated with respect to v1 giving us this term on the right hand side we are differentiating it with respect to v1 so v2 term and a term should come out as you can see it is now outside the derivative and you can easily calculate the derivative of this term which will be uh, an application of the power rule of differentiation once we do this we can rearrange it where alpha should come in the beginning and then the other co constant a then v1 term and then v2 term so this is mp1 because this is the derivative of the production function with respect to v1 as we already understood that the other derivative will be with respect to the other input that is v2 so here you can see v2 uh, is used with this uh, as a variable uh, with respect to which the differentiation is done and here a and v1 term will be considered as constants and we will be focusing on v2 term so the derivative is of the v2 term whereas v1 term and a are outside as a constant coefficient it is easy to apply power rule here we applied it and then rearranged it in a way where beta comes first and then a v1 term and v2 term this would be mp2 that is marginal product of v2 now we can recall the formula uh, we cannot use this version of the formula however we can use this because we uh, focused on this uh, formula to find out mp1 and mp2 the value of mp1 is found we found it here so we have substituted it and mp2 is already found as well we have to put its value here in place of mp2 and now we can focus on those terms that can come out as a common factor it's 1 over q here and here we have separated v1 and v2 here because this v1 can interact with this v1 raised to the power m alpha minus 1 so this v1 can be cancelled out with v1 raised to the power minus 1 so we use this v1 with this minus 1 power of v1 and we will be left with v1 raised to the power alpha so this is v1 raised to the power alpha here again v2 can be cancelled out with this v2 raised to the power minus 1 so interacting these terms we get v2 raised to the power beta now 1 over q as put in the box will come outside as a common factor now after simplification we are also uh, observing that a is present on in both of the terms so it also comes out as a common factor so this is the thing that now we have extracted a and a in addition to this we also have these two terms as common in both of these terms before and after plus so we also bring it outside 
and alpha plus beta is left whereas 1 over q was already taken as a common factor so now we can uh, focus on this term this is actually the production function so instead of this I can write q and when I do this this q can be cancelled out with this q which is already present in the denominator and alpha plus beta it will remain as it is so alpha plus beta will be the answer of the elasticity of scale and it depends upon the sum of alpha and beta that is the output elasticities with respect to v1 and v2 if the sum is equal to 1 it will be constant returns to scale if it is greater than 1 then it will be increasing returns to scale and if it is less than 1 then it will be decreasing returns to scale so the elasticity of scale is helping us to find out if there is increasing, decreasing or constant returns to scale just like it is designed to help us. Now this is the process in which we found the elasticity of scale of the Cobb Douglas production function by using this formula and the answer of this can help us to interpret the type of production function we are dealing with. Thank you.